Chapter 9, 9-06, Trigonometric Equations. Example 15. Solve each trigonometric equation, giving all possible acute and obtuse solutions correct to the nearest degree. A. Sine theta equals 0 0.7538. Okay, this diagram over here is a reminder of the unit circle with a radius of one unit and the angle of theta. Remember, it's always measured in the anti-clockwise direction from the x, the positive x-axis. So it comes around this way. This is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Now, sine theta is always measured off the y-axis. Cosine theta is measured off the x-axis. Okay, so the first one. Sine theta equals 0 0.7538. Well, that's a positive number, and it's sine theta. And y-axis measures sine theta, because that's the vertical distance to the point. So 0.7538, if we know that's 1, because this is a unit circle, then 0.7538 would be around here. Now, if you draw a horizontal line, it's going to touch the circle twice. So we're going to find two values, an acute angle and an obtuse angle. Right, just imagine there's a line that goes straight across here. We're going to have a point here, and we're going to have a point here. Remember, the angle's measured from the positive x-axis in an anti-clockwise direction. That's theta. So the acute angle is going to be 49 degrees because we put it in the calculator. We've got sine theta equals 0.7538 on the calculator shift sine, which is equivalent to sine to the minus 1 of 0 0.7538, and the answer is 49, about 49 degrees. Okay, 48.9 degrees or 49 degrees. Now, remember, make sure your calculator's in degrees. So that gave us that angle. Now, we said that this point here, 0 0.7538, it's measured on the y-axis because that's sine. It also has another value here. Okay, I mean, it hits the unit circle here. So we've got to find that angle that goes up to there. Now, we can find that by just doing 180 minus theta. So 180 minus theta will give us that point, the vertical part of that point. And so it's got, but theta could be obtuse because sine theta is also positive in the second quadrant. Remember, all stations to central. So 180 minus 49 is 131. So the answer is 49 degrees. And also this angle here, which is measured from here. So it's 180 minus 49 degrees, which is 131 degrees. Okay, B, tan theta equals minus 2.5. B, tan theta equals minus 2.5. Let's go back to the unit circle. Remember, all sine, cosine, and tan are positive here. Sine is positive here. Cosine and tan are negative. Tan is positive here. Sine and cosine are negative. Cosine is positive here. Sine and tan are negative. Now, that makes sense if we look back at the vertical, remember the y-axis is measuring sine theta and the x-axis measures cosine theta. So sine theta, this point here is always going to be positive. It's going to be positive in that quadrant and that quadrant. You can see that. That's why that sine is positive here as well as cosine and tan, but sine is also positive here because the value on the y-axis is a positive. Okay. Both quadrant 3 and quadrant 4, sine is negative because you can see this measures sine and it's below 0, so it must be negative. Now, similarly, cosine over here. Cosine over here is on the x-axis, the positive x-axis. So cosine is positive here and here because cosine is greater than 0 because cosine theta is measured along the x-axis. And on this side... Cosine theta is negative because it's less than zero. That's why cosine is negative in quadrant two and negative in quadrant three. So this part B here of tan theta equals minus 2.5, this tan theta, the angle, is going to give us a negative value. So tan is always going to be negative in quadrant four and always going to be negative in quadrant two. Now, when we put this in the calculator, we've got tan theta equals minus 2.5. So we know it's going to be in this quadrant and that quadrant, right? Quadrant 2 and quadrant 4. 
the thing is, we, can't, we have to exclude this one because acute angles are in the first quadrant, obtuse angles are in the second quadrant, and reflex angles are in quadrant three and four. So we have to exclude this one. Now, we've got the angle that's minus 68 degrees. Now, just to make it a bit easier to work out where it's going to be over here, we can go minus 68. Remember, if it's minus degrees, then it goes clockwise. We just go down here 68 degrees. Now, if you then, we have to exclude this one, but it does exist. It does equal minus 2.5, but they're not interested in it because the question's asking for acute and obtuse solutions. But to make it easier to calculate where it is over here, let's go down our minus 68 degrees here. If we put a straight line right through to here, that point here is 180 minus 68 because these are alternate angles. They're equal, right? Those angles there. This angle from here at 68 is the same as this angle here, 68. Now that point there is going to be 180 minus 68, which will be an obtuse angle if you measure it from the positive x-axis. So it comes right around here to here. And that's why there's only one solution here. It's 180 minus 68 is 112. So we've got that point. But remember, there does exist another solution. That's over here. But they didn't ask for it. They only asked for acute and obtuse. So we can only consider an angle in the first quadrant and the second. We're going to exclude this angle here in this quadrant because it's a reflex angle. Let's have a look at example 16. Solve each trigonometric equation correct to the nearest minute if x is obtuse. Now, a is cosine x equals minus 0 0.09. So we already know it's minus. So cosine x is minus here and here. And the reason we know that is because cosine x or cosine theta is measured on the x-axis. And cosine x or cosine theta is positive here, but it's negative here. We know that's 1. And if this is minus 0 0.09, that's very close to minus 0 0.1, which is very, very close here. If we go directly up to here, we're going to hit the unit circle. So we need to find that angle from here to here, right? So it's going to go around and it's going to be that point. But it's also this point because there's two points at the unit circle that give a value of minus 0 0.09. But the question does ask for the obtuse angle. This angle from here to here is obtuse, right? It's greater than 90 and less than 180. But this angle down here is a reflex angle because it's greater than 180. Okay, so we're really only interested in that point there, that angle. So you put in the calculator and you get x equals 95.1636 degrees. Now, it did say to the nearest minute. So that's been changed into that. And that's approximated to 95 degrees in 10 minutes. Now, that's the only answer. Even though there is another angle that will give us cosine x equals minus 0 0.09, that would be down here. It's not an obtuse angle, so they've ignored it. So the answer for that one is just that one there. And as you see, it's very close to 90. It's 95 degrees in 10 minutes. And B, sine x is 0 0.64. Now, it's a positive number, 0 0.64. So it has to be either here or here. Remember, sine is positive here and sine is positive there because it's above the x-axis. It's above the x-axis, it's above y equals 0, and we know that that point is 1, and that's 0 0.64, so it's going to be somewhere around there, and we know there's two values. There's a value here, that height is 0 0.64, and also over here, this height here is 0 0.64, so we have this one or that one. Now, the question was, it has to be the obtuse one, so it can't be this one, because that would be acute. So we're only interested in this point over here. So we've got to find this angle to here that takes us to that point, which will give us a height of sine of theta 
equals 0 0.64. So we have to find theta, or in this case, x. So we go to the calculator, and we put in sine to the minus 1 of 0 0.64 over here, shift sine, sine to the minus 1, and we get x equals 39.7918. Right. And But x is obtuse, so it can't be that one, because that would be acute. But we said there's another one over here that has the same value on the y-axis, which measures sine. So we're interested in that one. So it would be 180 minus 39.7918. Gives us 140.2081. And that's now in minutes and seconds. And it said to the nearest minute. So the only answer is 140 degrees, 12 minutes, because we're only interested in that one, because it's obtuse. We're not interested in this one, even though both of them have the same value of 0 0.64 here. Exercise 9-06, trigonometric equations. Your questions 1, 2, and 3, they're recommending you relook at example 15 to help you with these exercise questions here. Relook at example 16 to help you with these ones here.